Unreal Engine file, the actual camera recording the scene. We got the physical. The idea just sparked. Felt like the universe sent us a message. Because we were looking at the course that we did and looking at the comments. Because the comments keep coming in from you guys every single fucking day. Thank you guys for the Star Wars tutorial. Every single week there are people making the Star Wars scene. It feels amazing seeing you guys do that. So we were sitting down in a coffee shop and we have tons of things to do. You guys who are watching the vlogs probably already know, thinking of a paddle court. The reason we're in Vancouver is because we're trying to explore a new business idea and it has everything to do with paddle. There's so many things. At the same time we decided, hey, shall we do another series? If you were to do another series, what would it be about? Me and Farah happened to watch Dune on the way back, Dune 2, and we both kind of liked it, right? Especially uh, Lisan Al Gaib. Naive. <sighs> Lisan Al Gaib. We watched it and we were thinking, oh my god, it would be great if we remake this in Unreal. And then what would we do with it? What's the next step after you learn Unreal Engine? Well, you kind of want to make films, or maybe you want to make commercial ads. How do you do that? In the house, we do it with the iPhone Live Link. But the next level will be virtual production. And there's all these studios popping up everywhere, right? In the US, in the UK, in Dubai, and they're using it more and more often now. And so, the idea came. We know Pixel Jam. They're the biggest virtual production studio here in Dubai, and they're our friends. We've been there before, but we never really knew what to do with each other. And so the idea came, let's go talk to the guys, see if they're interested to partner up and create this revolutionary Unreal Engine intro to virtual production. And there we are. Unreal Engine file, the actual camera recording the scene, and we got the physical right there. Controlling the camera right there. These three computers are editors for the Unreal, right? Yes. This is the lighting, right? The, yeah, it's all the lightings that you're gonna see in the studio. Okay. All the controls, you reset buttons. Oh, wait. Okay. This is one. Okay. Oh. So you set up the presets for every scene, and yeah. then after that, when the scene changes, you just change the colors. Yeah, exactly. And this is? This is the LED processor control panel. Oh. It's all the LED processor. Each, each LED has their own processor. Right, right, right. So we have five LED processor. Why would you need to control this, though? Sometimes for the refresh rates of the LEDs, okay, okay. the brightness of the LEDs. So Hamed is controlling the camera right there. So this is the rooftop. Let's see. You don't yeah. need any details. You don't need the details. <laughs> yeah, you don't need. You only need what because you see. Because the camera is going to see this. Yes. Nothing more. And you guys are putting up the props for the rooftop and everything in the background is gonna be the virtual scene we've got at the back over there. By the way, this is Hamid, the best man, <laughs> showing us everything today. Hamid, how do you feel having two students follow you today? <laughs> two interns. <laughs> Sir, please. Check my face. Do you have boogers in my nose? No, all good. Right. Right. Gotta be quiet though. Actually, silence your phone. Oh, silence your phone. There might be in the middle of a shoot. The coolest thing is Hamed here is doing the live edit, like a rough cut of what they're shooting over there. So even before getting out of the studio, we kind of get an idea of what the cuts are like. Yeah, I have a live camera fit here. I can record. Oh, you're recording it now. Yeah. I can put it directly to the edit. Under the edit. That's cool. So they just finished recording the first scene, which is in the office. Now they are changing the props and the Unreal file to bring the rooftop scene. So you open the file here and then you use a switchboard to make the switch happen? 
No, I actually open a switchboard that opens the file here. That opens yeah. the file here. So you can okay. see all the IPs are here. Yeah. And uh, that's how it knows which computers to tell to open the file. And okay. we need to have the exact same file on every computer. And you've already assigned all of that previously, yeah. so it knows. Yeah. And there you go. There it's beautiful. Know. It's beautiful, just like Hugo. <laughs> <laughs> You can see okay. that Hamid's oh. also in the scene. Oh, that's Hamid's head. Yeah. There you go. And he yeah. can see that I'm in the scene. Can you, can you like shoot him or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's I'm Unreal fortunate. Engine. I'm it's fortunate. Unreal Engine. <laughs> can you make moves over there or you don't, you cannot make the moves? I can make, but... Uh, it's locked it's to the camera as well, right? At the same time. Yeah. So, for example, I can move this and you'll see it moving there. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Uh, but let's put it back where it yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not mess around. Yeah. Today is a shooting day, not rehearsals. Yeah. Okay, while Hamed is finding that, I wanted to show you guys something cool. So, as they're setting up the first shot on the rooftop, if you look to the right side, that black part of the screen is because the director wanted, as the camera moves behind the leaves and the characters are going ahead of the leaves, he wanted everything on the LED to be black. So they basically brought in a black plane. The guys here are all working on editing the Unreal Engine file. So they brought a black plane. So when it's behind the leaves here, it's going to be black. And you won't see the city anymore. Hamid, we got the third scene right now? Yes, that's the third scene, the wooden in the cabin. Yes. Cabin in the wooden. <laughs> cabin in the wood. Wooden in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> cabin in the woods. Yeah. Right here, look at this shot, it looks gorgeous. So, the lighting is completely different than the last shot. We got the, the cooler lighting here because we're under the trees. Of course, it's foggy. It's foggy, yeah, more moody. And Michael's actually doing his magic on there, on the left side, if you can see him, like there. He's changing the intensity, the colors of the lights to match the environment. He's got the presets from yesterday, but I'm sure he's changing a little yeah, bit, right? Definitely. And uh, he has an iPad. He can control the color grading in the environment as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he so the like iPad hooked to the Unreal? Yes, it's an Unreal, Unreal Stage app. The, is it the post-process volume? Yeah, you can control post-process volume, there is a post-process, there is a color grading in the end display config. Okay, so, t oh, okay, so that's what he's, is that what he's, he's yeah, playing yeah. with that yeah, now? Yeah, exactly, if you see, he's changing the contrast. Right, so basically he matches the lights and he matches the environment, matches the lights, matches the environment, until exactly. he gets it right. get the correct setup. That's the director right there. You want to watch something? What do you want to watch? That's uh, bro, if you don't want to touch it, but don't fix it. This is yeah. Okay. Is it French? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing yeah. you have to watch in the car. No, no, this is just we, podcast. We didn't play it. It was playing when we got in. We have decided to create another Unreal Engine tutorial series for our channel. And in order to brainstorm, we need two things. Wait, wait, wait. we never discussed that. We did. And we need two things. Did we? Yes, we did. Are you sure? It's done. We never talked about this. It's decided. And now we are going to brainstorm about it, about the entire idea. But we need two things. Caffeine and nicotine. And we're going to get both of them right now. Caffeine is easy. You can go to any coffee shop and get your caffeine fixed. For nicotine, we're, we're going to go to the best goddamn place yes. in town. Hookah place. Transition. Best shisha in Dubai. After a long, detailed discussion, me and Farhad have already designed the outline of the next big Unreal Engine tutorial series that we're going to do. The first one was inspired by Star Wars. The second one is going to be inspired by...
there was a little bit of an itch in both of us to create, to recreate the scene in Unreal. But, you know, in bad decisions, we never like to do things small. Why just work on one single video and recreate that scene? Let's go bigger. And how do we go bigger? We will create an entire tutorial series, just like the first one, but this time for Dune. In the first one, we taught you all the basics, material, texture, lighting, and you guys learned everything. But in the second one, we're going to cover virtual production. And we're not just talking about virtual production for indie filmmakers. We're going to do that, by the way. We're talking about virtual production at scale. We're going to go to Pixel Jam, which you've already seen in our vlogs. We're going to go to their actual LED volume, which is gigantic. And we're going to drop our scene there. Once you guys learn how to make this scene with us at home, we're going to go take the scene there. And then we're going to cover all the aspects of virtual production, from how we light the scene to match the background, from how we talk to the gaffers and see the process behind lighting the scene, how we talk to the cameraman to see what cameras, what lenses they use, how we use different computers to display the scene onto the walls. All of these little things that we're going to learn together so that the next time, you want to create a film. You know everything. Is it free? Of course. Every time. All the time. So how do we make money? <laughs> <laughs> the outline of the course is going to be different this time. In the first step, we're going to teach you guys how to build the scene. So this is going to be us walking you through the scene that we built in Unreal Engine. The second step, and the exciting one, is we're going to go out and 3D scan some assets monuments, rocks, whatever we can find in the desert, because we are close to the desert and we are here in Dubai. We are going to give you the assets too, so you can use it in the scene. And in the third step, once we have the Unreal Engine and the 3D assets, we're going to combine everything, render some shots, but also we're going to take everything into the virtual production studio to make a very, very short film. It's going to be awesome. And we cannot wait to share more of this with you. But right now we're in the preliminary steps. So as we find out more, we're going to show you more. And give that them is a why. Deadline. Give them a deadline. Wait, wait, before I give them a deadline, the reason why you guys should be watching the vlogs is because we're going to be documenting the entire journey as we record the course. So by the time the course is out, you'll, you'll see the entire you'll process. You'll probably see yeah. the B BTS of everything. We had an amazing day, visited Pixel Jam went to the hookah place, planned everything for the Unreal Engine tutorial series. Also, we have to plan a paddle session. We have played only one since we came back to Dubai and we have to play more games. At so least five Faraz. more, because yeah. you've lost the last two so times. Can, so I can beat Faraz a little bit. We are now going for a game of paddle with Faraz. Mahir and Anessa Farah, Farah. will be waiting. Losers He's can't going talk. to lose. Losers He's can't talk. He's going to lose. He's You're going looking to at lose. the top champion He's of paddle. He's going to lose. You are gonna watch. Speak. You've lost watch. the Let's last two times. Let's watch. The you car is lost here. The, last the car two is times. here. Let's go. Only champions may speak. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me. I seen him. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. Faroz is weak. He needs an espresso shot. And you just got this. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're weak. One Shall of we? the reasons why we're here as well, for anybody who's watched the previous vlogs, is because we wanted to check out all the indoor clubs. <laughs> You got hit by one of these balls and we had to stop the recording. But what I was trying to say is that we came to another indoor paddle court, which is called Paddle 360, just to see what kind of equipment they have, what kind of facility they've got. What is the ceiling height? Because honestly, we went to one just about a week and a half ago, which was That one was garbage. It was shit. It was really bad. So we don't want to go back there ever again. This one's pretty decent. This is really good. The ceiling height is not too high. And if you guys remember, one of our biggest problems was finding the right piece of land with the right ceiling height. This is not too high because our ball did hit the ceiling last time. But it's fine, everybody's playing. There are four playing, courts, yeah. everybody's playing. So, everybody's playing. I'm winning. And Let's say you're gonna lose. Let's go. Give me a shot and I'll. I swear I shoot like Moretta's. Back and I'm better than ever. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen her. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I get let up. They get not tired of me never. After four rounds of an intense game, the result was 2 2. It was a tie. That's bullshit. It was a tie. There might have been some cheating involved by Farad's team where they might have secured two rounds. But yeah, we're almost dead now. It's what time is it? Hold on. 12 30. It's 12 40. Yeah. We gotta wake up early tomorrow and get to work. So let's go.